வணக்கம் ஐ வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் திஸ் செஷன் ஆஃப் கிளாஸ் திஸ் இஸ் அ ஃபவுண்டேஷன் ப்ரோக்ராம் இன் மேத்தமெட்டிக்ஸ் ஃபார் கிரேட் செவன் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் அ சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் வேர் இன் வி ஆர் ஸ்டடிங் த டாபிக் ஆஃப் ரேஷனல் நம்பர்ஸ் ஆல்ரெடி வி ஹவ் பீன் கம்ப்ளீட்டட் த்ரீ வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஆர் ஃபோர்த் வீடியோ இன் ஆர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ வி ஹவ் பீன் சால்வ்ட் ஃபைவ் கொஷின் இன் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி வீடியோ வி ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி சால்விங் ஃபைவ் கொஷின்ஸ் மினிமம் ஃபைவ் கொஷின்ஸ் வி ஆர் ஆக்சுவலி சால்விங் and in continuation with that in this class also we are going to solve five more questions in the topic of rational numbers okay let us start with our first question now this is the first question that you are seeing here if 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 5 plus 5 by 10 equal to 1 by 2 into x plus y into 5 by 10 an expression is given an equation is given like this then find the values of x and y it is asked okay first of all i want to take the equation 1 by 2 into 2 by 5 plus 5 by 10 is equal to again 1 by 2 into multiplied by x plus y multiplied by 5 by 10 okay when i look at the left hand side part of this equation i can observe that this is actually uh, in the form of a distributive property that is distributive property of multiplication over addition when i look at left side and right side i can able to recognize that uh, i can able to feel that um, that idea it is actually the distributive property of multiplication over addition so when we distribute this 1 by 2 over this addends what we will be getting 1 by 2 multiplied by that is i'm i want to write it here 1 by 2 multiplied by 2 by 5 okay and then this 1 by 2 has to be multiplied with 5 by 10 so 1 by 2 multiplied by 5 by 10 and here the left side i want to write it completely 2 by 5 plus 5 by 10 now easily you can uh, by comparison you can tell that uh, the value of x is replaced by 2 by 5 and the value of y is replaced by 1 by 2 okay very simple problem and uh, so the solution for this question is x equal to 2 by 5 and y equal to 1 by 2 you can see that uh, option c is the solution for this one so option c is the correct one correct answer for this question very easier one okay let us check the answer that is available yeah option c is correct and x is equal to 2 by 5 and uh, y is equal to 1 by 2 you can see over the screen also okay now we move to the question question number 2 if x is equal to 2 by 15 comma y is equal to 3 by 5 then additive inverse of x plus y is asked it is not just asked to find x plus y you have to aware that it is asked the additive inverse of x plus y so what i am going to do in this question first i want to take the given values x is equal to 2 by 15 and y is equal to 3 by 5 i am taking the given values first of all i want to find this x plus y okay x plus y is equal to taking this 2 by 15 plus in the place of y we have to replace 3 by 5 okay for uh, to add this rational numbers first of all we have to make the denominator same for that purpose i take this 2 by 15 as it is but this 3 by 5 must be multiplied with 3 in the numerator and 3 in the denominator so as to get 15 here okay so what is the next step you can see that 2 by 15 plus 3 3 are 9 by 15 we are having so on adding we will be getting what uh, 2 plus 9 is 11 11 by 15 we are getting and this is the value of x plus y but i tell you this is not the answer because of that we need to find what in this question we have to find the additive inverse not just x plus y so additive inverse i already told you in the introduction part what is additive inverse it is the negative of the given number that's all 
so we are getting 11 by 15 for x plus y so what is the additive inverse then the negative of this 11 by 5 is minus sorry 11 by 15 yeah uh, minus 11 by 15 is the answer for this one so minus 11 by 15 is the additive inverse and minus 11 by 15 is actually in the first option 11 a option a let us check with our answer okay let us check with our answer yeah option a and it is the additive inverse is minus 11 by 15 as such we got yeah we are moving into the next question question number 3 question number 3 <coughs> we are having like um, the value of a is given to be 5 by 10 and b equal to 6 by 20 when i look at the question itself i can able to identify that this 5 by 10 and the 6 by 20 are not in the standard form you understand this 5 by 10 is having common factor between the numerator and denominator and also this 6 by 20 is having the common factor 2 between the numerator and denominator so that we i am telling you that we can simplify it anymore okay uh, but what the question is asked then the additive inverse of a divided by b it is actually the similar question that we have studied before the same kind of question but what it is asked the same additive inverse but for a divided by b so what we have to do first of all we have to find the a divided by b uh, i take the value a given to be 5 by 10 and b given to be 6 by 20 but i do not want to do this problem as it is given like a equal to 5 by 10 and b equal to 6 by 20 i want to simplify the given values a and b and then only i want to proceed because i do not want to travel with bigger values okay because as of as if it is it can be simplified why i need to go with bigger value so i want to simplify this first so um, by cancellation what we can get a 5 one time and here two time this will become three time and this here will be getting 10 uh, then i want to go with a divided by b now a divided by b so a we are having is 1 by 2 the simplified form here we are having is 1 by 2 divided by 3 by 10 and you all know that 1 by 2 this divide symbol can be changed into multiplication but with the reciprocal of the neighboring term that is 10 by 3 it will become 3 by 10 becomes 10 by 3 so here also we can make some another one more cancellation another one more cancellation we can make here between this 2 1 time and 5 time here so what is the simplified one we are getting simplified answer we are getting is 5 by 3 for a divided by b you are getting 5 by 3 so what is the additive inverse of this 5 by 3 hmm? yes it is minus 5 by 3 so the answer for this question is exactly as you said it is minus 5 by 3 and it is in the option a let us check with the answer available with us yeah minus 5 by 3 is the correct answer additive inverse now going to the next question okay fourth question you can see that if a equal to 2 by 3 b equal to 10 by 12 and c equal to 3 by 4 and it is asked to just find the value of a plus b minus c okay first of all i want to take the given values a equal to 2 by 3 comma b equal to 10 by 12 and c equal to 3 by 4 i want to find a plus be careful it is not b plus c it is b minus c so then what i want to do i want to substitute the values 2 by 3 here also I can see that uh, here we are having 10 by 12 so definitely I do not want to travel with this I want to simplify this as 5 by 6 because there is a common factor 2 between those two okay simplified okay then I want to take the value b as 5 by 6 minus c as 3 by 4 this 3 by 4 anymore we cannot able to simplify because it is in the standard form okay now um, 2 by 3 <coughs> plus uh, for to simplify this what we have to do we have to make the denominator same for that the we have to find the LCM between this 6 and 4 the LCM of 6 uh, between 6 and 4 is 12 okay so I want to make the denominator 12 so for to make the denominator 12 this 5 by 6 
and this 3 by 4 has to be multiplied with has to be multiplied with 5 by 6 by 2 then it will be 12 and this by 3 am I right yes exactly I am sure about it then the next step what we are having 2 by 3 plus this is actually 5 twos are 10 10 by 12 minus 9 by 12 9 by 12 we are having so 10 by 12 minus 9 by 12 as if you know that 2 by 3 and it is 1 by 12 plus 1 by 12 yes plus 1 by 12 and then furthermore simplification is needed and because of that I want to take uh, the LCM between this 2 by 3 and uh, uh, that is the LCM of this 3 and 12 is actually 12. So, for that uh, I want to multiply this fraction 2 by 3 by 4 in the numerator and 4 in the denominator then it will become uh, 12. So, 12 will be the common denominator I will be taking and uh, the numerator we will be having what 4 twos are 8 and plus 1 8 plus 1 is 9. So, 9 by 12 we will be having. So, this 9 by 12 obviously it is having common factor 3. 3 3's are 9 and 3 4's are 12. So, we are having the final 3 by 4. Let us check with the yeah option A is having 3 by 4 option. So, yes. So, option A is the correct one 3 by 4. Let us check the answer. Now, yes the same 3 by 4 we are getting and it is option A it is showing ok. And the last problem of this session we are uh, now going to discuss. Yeah, I think uh, when I look at this question, when I look at this question, it definitely shows that it is actually the distributive property. Yeah, it is going to be a simpler one, ok. I take the question first, 2 by 3 multiplied by 5 by 6 plus minus 2 by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 times A minus B times 2 by 3. Ok. So, we can distribute this 2 by 3 inside this addons ok with this addons. So, that what we will be having 2 by 3 into 5 by 6 plus minus 2 by 3 ok. I am taking the left side as it is and I want to multiply here. So, 2 by 3 times 5 by 6. So, when multiplied with this 5 by 6, 5 by 6 and then actually in the question you can see that in, in the middle we are having minus sign ok. Because of that in the here in the middle minus sign, but uh, I do not know from where it has been come. Uh, yes, that minus sign must have come from this 2, this minus 2 by 3. So, plus into minus it becomes minus. So, because of that only we are getting uh, this minus sign. So, this 2 by 3 has to be distributed with this 2 by 3, 2 by 3 into 2 by 3. Do not think about that this is actually the distributive property over addition only ok. Because of that we are having minus sign do not confuse that, do not confuse yourself that it is distributive property over subtraction like do not confuse. This minus actually it belong it was it was a it was the minus that belonged to this 2 ok that minus only came out written here ok do you understand yes I think you understand hopefully. Uh, then I want to find the value of A and uh, B from this question. So, the value of A when you compare the A is 5 by 6 and the value of B when you compare we are getting what 2 by 3. Okay. So, A equal to 5 by 6 and B equal to 2 by 3. So, which option is having that one? A equal to 5 by 6, B equal to 2 by 3. Yes, option C I think. Yes, let us check with the answer we are having. Yeah, option C. A equal to 5 by 6 and B equal to 1 by 2 is the correct one. Yes, definitely. Ok, all the 5 questions are woven over and I am going to leave this session ok.
Yes, definitely I hope that uh, this class is much useful for you. If you watch the series of videos all together in a regular manner, okay. And also I hope that you will share the video, you will share the video to your friends, you will like the video if you like it, please uh, you comment over the video because it would be much helpful for us for to give better and better quality, okay. Um, and finally I want to tell you, God bless you.